elevation or that distance from sea level is another factor that is going to affect our climate. So if you had two places that are at the same latitude, so the same distance from the equator, the next thing you're going to want to check is its distance from sea level. Is one higher up from sea level than the other? So if you look at, we've got these cute little guys here. So we've got this guy at the bottom of the mountain and he's got all of this air pressing down on him, all right? This air at the bottom is going to be denser and more packed together. That's why it's sinking down. And he's going to feel that pressure. It's going to feel hotter to him. And this guy up here, right, that air is spreading out. So even though we think we're closer to the sun, remember the sun is millions of miles away, 94 million miles away. So him going up to the top of this mountain, 5,000 feet, right, that's this teeny tiny percentage he's not going to really be able to tell that he's closer to the sun, but he is going to be able to tell that there's less air pushing down on him because that air is going up and it's starting to spread out because it's becoming less dense. And this less dense air can allow that precipitation and that snow and that moisture to get through it a lot easier than this air that's packed together. So who's going to feel colder the guy down at the bottom or the guy up at the top of the mountain. So, right, we live by mountains and we know, right, if we go up into the mountains, even in the summertime, we can expect it to be cooler because there's not as much air, that lower pressure pushing down on us. So we'd also expect this guy to experience more precipitation. So sometimes it will snow in the mountains and not down in the valleys because that air pressure allows it's less dense and allows that precipitation to get through where this is more packed together at the bottom and doesn't allow for that to go through. So let's do a couple comparisons here. So we have Tree Mountain where we live and St. George that we are, I think most of us are familiar with. We are in the same climate zone, the temperate climate zone meaning we have four seasons. So same, similar distances from the equator. However, we have an elevation of 4,000 feet and St. George is 2,000 feet. So that right there helps St. George be warmer is because they're going to be closer to sea level. They're going to have more air pushing down on them, packed together helping them feel warmer, that denser air is pushing in on them. Okay, let's look at one more here. So we've got Kampala and Quito are both in the tropical climate zone, so very close to the equator. So they're both going to be fairly warm places. Uh, Kampala is three, almost 4,000 feet above sea level, and Kyoto is 9,000 feet above sea level. So even though they're both going to be warm places, which one would we expect to be cooler? Well, this one is much higher. Like that is, you know, double Tree Mountain's elevation. 10,000 feet is pretty high up there. So we would expect, even though it's in that tropical climate zone, for it to be much cooler than Kampala or even somewhere near right right on that sea level. So even though it's in a tropical zone, its elevation causes it to cool down. There's not as much air pressure pushing down on it. So here is a little Mrs. Richards story. So have you ever heard somebody old be like, oh, a storm is coming. I can feel it in my bones. Like I was just thought that was like the most old person thing in the whole world to say. Well, since breaking like literally all of my fingers, that's a real thing, guys. So what is happening is in high pressure situations, right? We've got that dense air. It's pushing in on our bones and it's helping hold everything in together. And then once, right, they've been broken and everything's a little creaky, right? So low pressure brings in stormy weather. And so I, that low pressure, there's not as much air pushing on all of my joints and my fingers get all creaky 
And I can tell before the storm is coming, like, oh, why do my fingers hurt? And I can be like, oh, a storm must be coming. So, I mean, call me old because I am, but it's a real thing. You can predict the weather with your joints when they start to feel achy, right? There's not as much pressure pushing in on them. Got a low pressure system coming in. So I have myself a nice weather predictor right here.